Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. And I'm doing a morning walkthrough of my garden, uh, looking at my collards. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, everything was under snow and uh, I removed all of the dead leaves and fertilized and we've had several days of rain and just wanted to come and see how everything's doing. And as you can see here, my collards are going to seed. Uh, but there are still a lot of good leaves on here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is harvest from these and pull everything up and maybe only leave one or two to go to seed so I can collect the seeds off of them. And um, over here, I have more collards and kale. And it looks like this kale here wants to go to seed so as i stated i'm going to leave about one of uh, each type of plant so that i can collect the seeds also here i see where the collards are also going to seed so i'm going to be removing all of the collards probably out of the garden uh, sometime today or tomorrow and over here as you can see the cabbages are getting bigger and I think I can probably harvest two or three of these. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. I'm thinking that this head here is about ready. And uh, these are all small here. So I'm gonna leave these for a minute. But I see another nice size one there and maybe even that one over there. Um, but um, I wanna go on and harvest a lot of this stuff as soon as I can in preparation for my spring garden. Let me get over here. And over here I have more of the collards. And as you see, everything wants to go to seed but uh, I'm gonna harvest all of these lower leaves and uh, what I'm going to do is get them all washed up and come back and show you uh, what I have been able to harvest I'll definitely be using these beds to grow something else this spring uh, these cabbages here are, are younger than the other ones. I don't know if it's going to do much, uh, but we shall see. Uh, it looks like the heads are just now beginning to form. As you see here, and there's some collards right there and another collard right there. And then the only other collards that I have uh, here in the garden are these here and likewise they're doing the same thing trying to go to seed so I have a lot of collards to harvest and a few heads of cabbage and uh, I'll come back and share that with you um, but uh, all of these brassicas that you see here the cabbage and the collards and the kale uh, they were all part of my fall planting last year and so, <clears throat> because uh, collards and kale are bi biennial, uh, they usually develop seeds in the second season. So I'm only gonna keep one or two uh, to go to seed and uh, pull, pull this out and uh, add more soil to these raised beds in preparation for my spring planting. Okay, thank you so much. I'll be back with you shortly. And so here you have it, guys. This is my harvest today of collard greens and cabbage. I also have a few sprigs of kale here and here. Uh, the cabbage heads were not very big, but they were the three largest ones in the garden. And I'm going to let the remainder of them uh, stay uh, to see if they'll get any bigger. 
I was hoping to uh, wait a little longer on harvesting these collards, uh, but they started going to seed. So I used it as an opportunity to go on and harvest what was there. But I did leave one kale plant and one collard plant uh, to go to seed so that I can collect the seeds from those. But as you can see here, my breakfast table is completely covered in collard greens. And my grandkids and I, I think we're going to have some fried fish, collard greens, and cornbread tonight for our dinner. And I'll still have plenty to be able to put away. And I'll probably store them by freezing these um, because I found out I don't really like the... Um, the canned greens, they come out a little bit too mushy for me, and I like mine just a little crunchy. Um, but uh, here is my harvest of the day. And here is a stack of greens that are going to be uh, thrown away. Well, not thrown away. Nothing is ever thrown away uh, on the homestead. This is going to go to the chickens, and I might just throw some into a container and put soil on top because I like to compost in place. But I just wanted to share my harvest with you for today and hope that if you like this video, you'll hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos thank you so much god bless bye bye